These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks. We've already talked about how the rays we normally draw, well, what's the first ray we, we normally draw? Um, from the top to the um, center of the lens and then through like, parallel to the axis. So we usually draw one ray parallel to the axis and then through the focal point. Either it or its traceback goes to the focal point. Mm -hmm. All right, and what's the other ray? And then it starts from the top and then just goes straight through the center of the lens. Without bending. Right. Or if it was a mirror, it would bounce off at the same angle it came in on. All right. And the third ray is the reverse of the first ray. So the first ray goes out through the focal point. So the third ray should come in through the focal point. Now, remember the one thing we saw here is we don't bend here. We're going through the focal point. We're not bending. After all, this ray doesn't bend at the focal point. It just goes straight through, right? We bend when we get to the lens, which we approximate as the middle of the lens. And then what does the outgoing light ray look like? Because that's the reverse of that first ray. The first ray comes in parallel to the axis and goes out through the focal point. Or its trace back goes out through the focal point. Well, this ray goes in through the focal point, or maybe its trace back goes through the focal point, and then it goes out parallel to the axis. So they're the exact reverse of each other. Okay? Uh, and we saw that we usually don't draw this one. Usually we draw the first two rays. Usually that's enough, and usually they're less confusing. Usually, so the only reason we went over this is because you might be tested directly on knowing that light that goes to the focal point comes out parallel to the axis. For example, I think we did that question last time about where should we put a bulb if we wanted the light to be reflected all parallel to each other? Where should we put a bulb if we wanted all the light rays to be reflected parallel to each other? Well, the only way for all the outgoing light to be parallel is if they're all parallel to the axis. Mm -hmm. So if we put the bulb at the focus, then all the light is going through the focus, and we know that any light that goes through the focus comes out parallel to the axis. An object 0.08 meters high is placed 0.2 meters from a convex lens. The distance from the image to lens is 0.4 meters. What's the height of the image? Let's come up with our table again real fast. Uh, what are the characteristics here? Um, it's real, inverted, and it's shrunk. And then that one is um, inverted, real, and magnified. And then that is um, upright. Now, how do we know when we're in the cases on the left-hand side of the swiggle and when we're in the cases on the right-hand side of the swiggle? The left-hand side is converging. And the right-hand side is For converging devices, we use the left. And for diverging devices, we use the right. All right, and what were our memory aids there? Um, 
Oh, no, for uh, these cases oh, up here? Um, uh, infrared, and then, well, yeah, and then the Ronald Reagan bipolars, and then um, ultraviolet, and then the S, the strong goes for sides, and then magnified is for the middle. All right, you got it, yeah. So the S's are on the sides, and the M's are in the middle. We could say that Ronald Reagan vied for voters, and then we know inverted goes with real because we could think of infrared. And upright goes with virtual by the number eight ultraviolet. All right. Let's give this a shot. Do we know where the focal In this case, could we find the image height using like the relationship between the image distance and the height? The that image? sounds good. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So we know that the magnification, we can just focus on magnitudes. So I use the dot as usual to show I'm focusing on the magnitudes and not the signs. So just focusing on magnitudes, we know, I think we spent a while talking about this last time, we know that the ratio of the distances is the same as the ratio of the heights. We saw that something is magnified, uh, something has a uh, magnified image when its image distance is greater than the object distance. Okay, so both of these are equal in magnitude to the magnification, so they must be equal to each other. What was the question asking us for? It's asking for the image height. So Which symbol do we use for that? Um, H prime. Right. Now we know it's always a good idea to write down a question mark and the symbol for what the question is.
take your time. You gonna use a calculator? Yeah, I just don't have oh. a calculator with me. But you get you get a calculator on yeah. the test? Okay, so keep in mind. 